Hi, it's AD Tech Videos here, and today I'll be having a bit of a rant about high DPI scaling in Windows 8.1. Now, I just bought a laptop with a 14 inch screen, and it has a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So, if you think about it, that's the same resolution as a 60 inch high definition TV. So obviously, if you've got a 14 inch laptop screen, same resolution as a 60 inch TV, things are going to look a little bit small, and they certainly do. The text on web pages is just minuscule, it's tiny, you can hardly read it from a normal viewing distance. And yeah, everything on the screen just looks absolutely tiny, and it just really strains your eyes to look at anything on the screen. So I actually found a solution to this. You right click on the desktop, so I'll just do that now. You click screen resolution, and your normal instinct might be to actually change the resolution of the display, maybe down to something like 1600 by 900 or 1280 by 720. But there is a major problem to doing this. Every single thing on your screen becomes a lot blurrier because the screen is not meant to work at a lower resolution. It's meant to work at its native resolution. It's just how LCDs like it. So alternatively, what you can do is click make text and other items larger or smaller. And what this does is it actually maintains the native resolution of your screen, but it allows you to scale UI elements up. So say for example, you can run a 1920 by 1080 screen, which looks similar to a 1600 by 900 screen or a 1280 by 720 screen. So this is very similar to the retina displays that are put out by Apple, and they seem to work quite well. But the difference is that the retina displays work well, whereas the Microsoft high DPI scaling is just terrible. So I'll show you a couple of examples of why it is terrible. So I will just open up Adobe Audition now. Now this is quite an old version of Adobe Audition. It's from about 2007, as you can see in the about box here. And the problem is that this app was not meant to work with DPI scaling. I can prove that by putting it next to Windows Explorer. The about box text just looks absolutely terrible. It looks all blurry and terrible because it's been scaled up to way beyond what it was meant to be scaled. And Windows Explorer looks quite good because it was actually designed for high DPI scaling. So the problem is that if I buy a laptop, a really expensive laptop with a high DPI screen, I don't want all of my older apps to look like crap. I want them to look very crisp and clear, just like the Windows native apps. There's no point in having a good screen if everything's going to look blurry. So that's one of the problems I've got with high DPI screens. Now, not to pick on Adobe too much, but some of their more recent products are lacking in this regard as well. So I'll just open up Adobe Reader and I'll just open up the About box. And you can see that the text in the About box is much smaller than the text in the rest of the application. Now, this is a major issue, but I mean, obviously, you're not going to spend hours staring at the About box and reading all the credits, but you are going to be spending time in other areas of the application which are also the wrong size. So I think that third party app makers actually really need to fix some of the bugs in their products. Um, the high DPI scaling needs to look good on every single app that you have on your system. And also, I mean, you can't do really that much about older apps, but they should look slightly better as well. Maybe the text should be rendered in a slightly better way to allow it to look clearer. But it's not only third party apps which have a problem with the high DPI scaling. Even some of the apps included with Windows 8.1 have a problem as well. So I'll just open up Device Manager and you can see that the text is just as blurry as the text was in Adobe Audition. So in my opinion, high DPI scaling is not quite ready for the prime time yet. This has been another quality presentation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want more tech videos like this um, and like the video if you like it and dislike it if you dislike it.